Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Microsoft Teams. For most users like myself, when you open your first account, you might get blocked or locked. So if you find yourself in a bind like this, I'm going to be showing you simple steps to unblock or unlock your account. So the first thing you're going to do, or the first thing you're going to see from Microsoft when you get locked or blocked is this message from Microsoft telling you that they have detected some activity that violates your agreement and then to choose next when if you want to unlock your account. So that's what you're going to do. You're simply going to click on next. Then you're going to come to this interface where they're going to tell you they will send you a security code, but you're going to have to input your phone number. So the first thing you're going to do is choose the country code for your location. And when you do, you will impute your phone number. While you do this, when you do this, you're going to tap on next. Then they're going to take you to another interface where you're going to have to do a human verification. Now on my screen, you can see where they are telling you, help us beat the robots, where you have to rotate the object to face the arrow or to face the same direction as the object on the left hand side. But for some people, you might see a different interface where they would ask you to listen to a recording and then pick options that tally with that recording. So it obviously differs from person or account to account, but if you're able to answer the questions correctly, most times they give you one question, sometimes they give you two, or they give you three. Once your verification is complete, then they're going to ask you to impute the code that was sent to your number. By now, you should have received that code and it is usually a four digit code. So once you do that, you click next and voila, that's it. Your account has been unblocked or unlocked and then you can continue. Here, they're going to show you, um, they're going to ask you if you want to sign in again, but you're going to have to go back to your Microsoft Teams account and then sign in from there once again so you can continue using your account as simply and as easily as you were previously.